Hello there and welcome back to another episode of Iron Teeth in the difficult or the hard mode. Now, in the previous episodes, I still have not been able to answer to all the comments, so my apologies. But I think I've read through or noticed at least most of them. So I think one of them really stood out. Maybe there was a few of you that mentioned it. Now, right, I do not know why I built so many levees in there. So let's... Um, Let's fix it up. It would have made much more sense, and I agree with you, to build it this way. Um, right, so that is done. Hopefully the builders will get uh, get straight to it. Now we've got a, another 6.9 days until the rainy season starts. So, there's a few things we would like to, like to do. One of them was the bonuses. And uh, so let's take a look. Not the monuments, leisure temple so we'd like to probably plop it down somewhere here let's see um yeah straight ahead okay so for that we are gonna have to remove a few trees i think it's gonna be quite a few actually so maybe this many and with that what we'll also do is we'll remove all the harvesting area from from here as well then, moving on, I would like to finish off this road here. Uh, but we'll leave the beavers to it. Uh, I think we'll leave those dynamites as they are for the time being. Let's just check the power real quick as well. 250, 300 needed, so we'll have to open another one. Right, so that's a few things done already. Since the, what is it, our forestry area here is slowly but steadily shrinking we are gonna have to move this over not move it over actually we're just gonna have to put some more trees down elsewhere and what i was thinking is let's just grab the forester perhaps we'll bring it i don't know somewhere here yeah that should be fine so this could be our future forestry area and we'll put a few maples down well i guess all over this place here cool okay so that is done we'll slowly get to the uh, what was it called again uh, spirituality yes nice beautiful right another thing was the um let's just have a quick look uh, campfire and rooftop terrace we don't have any rooftop terraces right now just yet however i would like to change it and the way we're gonna do it is very simple we're just gonna put it over here and actually well, how can they go up? Yeah, they can just go up from here. That's fine. We'll save some planks. I was thinking of putting a bridge across here as well, but yeah, we can do it later. We've got bigger priorities right now. Few unemployed beavers. So that's another thing. Um, for the rainy season, I'd like to have some more adult beavers. And so what we'll do is let's... Um, where should we block them? Here we might need this later, so let's put a few here, maybe like so, and a couple more. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, and we'll connect the connect up this bit here as well. The priority of, for this episode, um, <laughs> how should we explain this? Right, so let's let's give it a try. During the wet season, it seems our water tank is not big enough to hold everything that comes from the water source, and well, that, that is to be expected because, quite frankly, it's, yeah, it, it just isn't big enough. And uh, that leads us probably to a problem. Right now we can still top this up, the pond and the river section here as well. But if the water level drops um, more than three voxels down, then we can no longer top this area up. And that's not really good because right now our drought seasons are only about, what is it, 18 days and 19 maybe? Maybe something like that. But once it gets longer, then it wouldn't be very smart to have those water pumps here. So there's two options that we have. One is to move water dumps towards the end and build this area up. But that also means we have to levy this whole area up. And um, don't really want to do that, to be honest. Yeah, so I was thinking, why don't we use this area here and create a massive lake? And I think that's what we're going to go with. Let me just make sure we're not going to flood this area again how much water do we have here now well that should mm, maybe a bit more 
Put it three times speed. How high is it now? Well, I think we're fine. Okay, so going back into uh, we're gonna flood it. Let me just close it. Okay, so the way we're gonna do this is we are gonna have to set up some some in uh, well temporary infrastructure, right? And um, we are gonna flood this. I was thinking we could probably go. Let's have a look at the edge of the map over here. We can go... Let's see. We could build it up three levels. And that's all good. Oh, we've got a bit of a gap here as well. How far do we need to go? We don't need this levy there. I have learned this much already. And... Yeah. Okay, so... Another thing we have to check is how far can the beavers go. And seems... Well, it's... The, um, that's probably how much they can, um, how far they can go really. So to fix that, we will also make a little shortcut here. And I think if we put a few bridges, like so, that should give us a few extra tiles where the beavers can travel without moving the district center again, of course. Okay, so then the next thing I'd like to do is to remove, I think, all these crops. And like so, we don't want to plant here, and I think, yeah, all this can really go. And we also have to remove a few trees. Um, that's fine, they're just birches, so uh, don't care about them too much. Pines, I guess we could harvest them. The amount of logs we have right now well it's going down slowly but okay so it seems the breeding ponds are now built as well so hopefully we'll have a few beavers ready okay so next thing the road let's bring it down and now we'll check oh they are quick the bridge is already done so that should give us a few more tiles yeah that looks better and now we just gotta figure out our logistics over here let us bring this road across about here okay so that works next thing yeah it's a bit painful but i think most of these crops should go and probably the same on this side as well so let's do that we'll do a bit of preparation here and there we should have enough builders no not too many Let's have a couple more to help us out. And, oh, we still have a few unemployed. So let's, um, yeah, let's have another one. Wow, oh, that looks just beautiful. Ooh, just to fill this up, make it look perfect, we'll put a few more wheat plants over there. And we can also plant a few more maples, I suppose. Yeah, that should be good. And we now also have this spot here, so temple. Well, that's just perfect, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. And a few more maples here as well. Okay, good. Looking beautiful. I think we were supposed to remove this maple here. And once they hopefully cut them down, then we should be good. And the forester, the next forester is ready as well. And he's already planted a few maples. So that's good. That's going to be our reserves. Now let's look over... I think they've managed to remove a few more trees. That's good. And all those crops as well. So let me just... Uh, actually, let's just wait till it's daytime and then we can start planning. Uh, right. I'll just put the roads down real quick. And let's see. I'd like to... Yeah, we're definitely gonna... Get rid of those ones. I think we can put a few more dynamites down. Uh, let's just pause it real quick uh, at the times. And use the daylight for, for our planning. A uh, couple more dynamites, like so. Uh, right, over here, what we are going to do is... I uh, would like to... <laughs> How are we going to do it? Maybe two of them. I'm just going to remove this link here. And... Yeah. I think that should do. And maybe we'll give them a different way down here as well oh let's just remove this path over here um sweet and i'll explain why i'm building them like so as well essentially once we have the infrastructure down here 
I'd like them to fill one row of industrial log piles and this small warehouse with blanks first. Once it's full, or at least most of it, then what we can do is we can create, um, what is it, district gate. We'll put one down so that way the beavers in this new district can use all the resources in this row whilst the beavers in our main district are filling the second row and I've just noticed they will not get through here. Okay, quick dynamite please. So that way if we run out of logs or anything else we can just keep switching between the the rows that will be using as well and yeah that's uh, okay at least we spotted them it needs to be over there so that way we can fully utilize all those buildings nice let's remove all resources we want blanks here and we would desire i don't know let's do 50 in this row cool 50 should be enough and we shall desire 180 this also means we have to lower well don't really have to but it will be easier if we just lower the desired number in the other warehouses let's do 40 i think we have one more below if we could please get a little bit lower yep 40 in this one as well and the same across the street 40 and the last one all right now they're all done and the buildings are complete as well so we will relink them oh i have to do it the same let's select the right resources 40 planks should be good to start with uh, fill them in build that staircase there and voila Good. The next thing, hopefully we have enough reach. Let's see. Oh yeah, they can come all the way here. Cool. So we are going to need a district center and a few builder huts. So builder hut, let's see. One, I think two should be enough. And then we can do a district center here. And if we select it, yeah, we uh, have enough reach. So that's good. We do also have to get up here. Maybe we'll do it from the other side actually yeah let's do it from the other side so if they go up like so then in the future if we need to build it even higher we can we can have uh, uh, reach this corner here right and the roads are in place just like we want them and now all we gotta do is please finish constructing uh, these builder huts where is everyone here they come okay and i think we're slowly starting to bring in some logs as well you know what let's uh, even unlock you guys and we have 1.8 days left until the rainy seasons and hopefully we'll have all this preparation done in time uh we're building stuff over it uh, yes good 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 and we have the builder huts in place as well so now the next thing we can really do since there's nothing else to build on this side don't think we need these peepers anymore we still have four that are able to construct buildings in the district center and yeah that was eight so they must have jumped into all sorts of different buildings uh okay let's try and get a few more i think we can take you out what else this farmer here perhaps or maybe a few from there as well but the day is almost over so we're gonna have to do it on a another day that's uh, that's fine right so whilst we wait for the night to uh, night to pass i think there was a few more things i wanted to mention Ooh, we need water so a few more things i would like to plant the forest all along the alongside the edge of the map here and that's gonna be pretty simple as well all we need is just a forester so once we have our new reservoir done we'll we'll focus on the on the side of the map here right another day has dawned so let's just pause this and we would like to migrate i think we need like 12 to the next district and that means we are gonna have to take a few out from here right so with the connections yeah We'll take these ones out. Road can go here and the district gate just over there. And we'll assign a few more builders as well. Okay, now we have, well, shall have 12 builders and they will be carrying all those logs over and build our new dam. 
wonderful next step will be to get up there and i think yeah we're gonna we could go from hmm, one level higher but nah we'll just go from here really yeah and that should be fine then maybe a little bit more from here we should be able to get a lot closer yeah that should do it oh bit of micro here let's send everyone back so they can get some food and and drinks as well and as soon as it's morning we'll do the same thing actually what i'll also do since the drought will be here in 0.2 days i'll extend their work day so hopefully we'll have that new barrier complete in no time and now as soon as the day comes in let's hope we didn't flood anything no okay let's send those 12 over perfect and the next thing since the water is coming in now we don't really need these wheels over here everyone can take a little break wow okay the first level is already in second one is not too far behind and i think they're constructing some of the stairs already as well just need a few more logs oh we've ran out of logs okay and that is exactly why we let's let's try one second okay so the gate will go here we'll reconnect this road oh no um actually yeah we don't even need the gates we'll just reconnect the roads and destroy them accordingly and the whole army of beavers are going to the construction site now so that should be pretty quick yeah two more in then they're gonna stop with the staircases as well i think they've got some resources already and just need a few more logs and i think we'll send them actually don't want to keep them for too long let's hope nothing's flooding nope looks good we'll uh, send you back over all right and that should go pretty well i think we are gonna end the episode here so at least you got get the idea what we're trying to build i know it's a short one but we'll we'll have a slightly longer one in the next one so thank you very much for watching and i hope to see you again in the next one